Member of the Singh family Kabrina Rahim Pasad said they have been celebrating Diwali with the St. James community for a number of years. The celebration has been going on, has been going on for over 50 years. Um, started off in the yard here as you're seeing and then gradually we went outside, we blocked the streets, but during COVID time, we kind of downgraded because of all the viruses and whatnot. And this year, we kind of went back outside, as you were here last year, so you saw it was on a smaller scale. But this year, we blocked part of the road and, you know, we're trying to gradually get back how it was. As the Singh's family tradition slowly returns to its former glory, she said each year they do it, they remember her grandfather, Beam Singh. He passed away over 10 years now, but we try to keep up his tradition. Like I said, we don't do any prayers or anything, but this is just his way of giving back to the public, and we continued his tradition throughout the years. Although the family isn't predominantly Hindu, they believe in following one of the main tenets of the festival, which is good over evil and light over darkness. We're not Hindus, you know, as a mix. It has Hindus, it has Catholics, Muslim. You hear the last name, Fasad, Rahim, Muhammad, Sings as a mixture. But this is his way of giving back, so we just try to continue to make him proud. I mean, just seeing how everybody is happy when they see the streets light up and they get food, and you know, it's something we always do, we always give. It's not just around the Wali time because you can come back for Christmas and it will be the same thing. Same amount of food, same amount of people. That's just how this family is. So if you're in the vicinity of Ethel Street in St. James for Diwali, the Singh family is inviting you to be a part of their community building tradition in honor of their patriarch. If you're trying to find them, just follow your nose and your eyes as the smell of the curry and the views of the lit deers will be the guide to their celebrations. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.